today now from the opening ceremonies at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris and some of the first medals will be won in fencing. A lot of excitement. I caught up with an instructor who has ties to two of the Olympians going for gold. Stay here. As excitement builds for the Paris Olympics, an Ashland fencing club is cheering on two former students competing among the world's best for a chance at gold. Eli Dershowitz, who is uh, currently world champion for men's saber, will fence for Team USA. He has a pretty good prospects this year. And Argentina's Pascual Detella also got a start here at Zeta Fencing, just like these young beginners. It's really cool to have them around. They bring their experience to kids. They show to them it's not just something you come and do on the weekends or just for one day. You can make this into something and it can make you into something better. Sabre instructor Tim Hoffman is training the next generation of elite fencers. Eight-year-old Ellie Zong is just a few months into the sport. I just like hitting. She's soft-spoken now, but fencing is what's helping Ellie gain her confidence. They have to participate. They have to talk to each other. They have to learn how to work with each other and even how to work against each other. While fencing seems less physical than some of the other Olympic sports, it's not an easy one to master, especially not in heels. You're going to hit just one time. Bah, like that. Do it. Like a first like that? Yeah, do it. Yeah, I have masks, you won't hurt me. The steps, the lunges, the very core of the sport is about discipline, technique, and respect. You have to have a discipline to control yourself, to do what you need to do, to practice what you need to make it better, to observe an opponent in front of you, to put all these pieces together so you can have a successful belt. Aside from being home to three Olympians, Zeta's founder was Team USA's men's fencing coach for the Rio and Tokyo Olympics. The close ties proving to be an inspiration to these little fencers. Once they see what you can be, they get like a lot of confidence. From Ashland, I'm Tiffany Chan, WBZ News. And to see them so excited, even the littlest of yes. fencers, watching the Olympics must be so exciting knowing that one of the Olympians is from that club. And you said it's quite a workout too, mm -hmm. very physical. I mean, I know it doesn't seem like it from what I did, but yeah, it gets hot in there and it's a lot of strategy. Yeah, you try it out. I, I would love to. I'm <laughs> we'll definitely going to watch it more carefully now.